because that type of person needs to bring not only their computer and their kind of laptop bag stuff, but probably also bring, needs to bring a lot of other stuff too. So this is a video that I've been meaning to make for a little bit, uh, for a little while now. And it's a what's in my bag video, uh, hot seaters edition. And so um, if you are a trial presentation person, otherwise known as a hot seat person who works in litigation support, uh, the kind of person who um, is in charge of all the exhibits for uh, that side, whether it's the plaintiff uh, or the defense, uh, you could be in charge of a database of exhibits uh, and transcripts and photographs and videos and any other kind of electronic media uh, and you have to be you're tasked with pulling it all up and making uh, the uh, the show run and so uh, here's an edition of what's in my bag um, I know every hot seater that I've ever met is always kind of like a pack rat of stuff and uh, it can get overwhelming and the things that you put in your bag uh, kind of depend on where you normally work um, and so uh, I normally work in the Chicago area, although right now I'm at a hotel in Springfield getting ready for uh, week two of a trial here. But I thought I would talk a little bit about what's in my bag and, and kind of what I think is not the bare minimum, but a good set of stuff to bring. Now there's more things that you can bring in addition to what I'm bringing, um, but here's what I'm bringing. Um, but first let me talk about the bag. The bag that I have, it's a 5.11 bag. Um, it is uh, kind of made for military or police type uh, tactical work. Um, it actually it has lots of um, you know Velcro strips here for like uh, patches and other uh, Velcro attachments here. It's got a little bit of Molly webbing, uh, M O L L E webbing on the sides, uh, but then it also has like the pass through for the um, handlebar on your, your roller bar roller bag of luggage. Um, it's intended for use for people who are, I guess, doing serious work. And so um, kind of the military grade or the military inspired stuff uh, really appeals to me in that regard because that type of person needs to bring not only their computer and their kind of laptop bag stuff, but probably also bring needs to bring a lot of other stuff too, which applies to me as well. Uh, and we'll, we'll go over what that is. Um, but this bag, uh, one feature that I don't use on this bag ever is um, there is a pocket here for quick access to your concealed carry weapon. I do not carry a weapon. I do not own a weapon. I've never actually shot a weapon that is not of the BB variety. So I don't really care about that. It's got a nice big uh, dual zipper kind of handle here uh, for stuff with more molly webbing on the inside. I don't know if you can even see that. Let's see. Let's get that in there. Molly webbing. Uh, and then on the other side, it is like the soft part of Velcro. So you can Velcro things to it. I think, again, in case you need to put a weapon in there, like a holster for a weapon. I don't use that feature. Uh, but the inside is nice and padded, so uh, you can put your laptop or anything else sensitive in there. So if you have anything kind of instruments that are delicate, they can go in there, even if they're uh, in case the case is not strong enough. There's also a separate uh, laptop pocket, and there's like a little divider in here too. This thing, in case you need to section off this part, um, and that part is also oh, it's actually a little bit padded. But not really. The main padding is in the big compartment. But this isn't a bag review. You want to know about that. If you want to know more about it, I'll post a link in the description and um, you can read more about the bag. But I really like this bag because um, when I'm preparing for trial, uh, especially a trial that I'm traveling for, I have a lot of extra things that I always just have to have on me because I might be working in an airport, a hotel, a restaurant, um, or, or, or in the courtroom. And depending on where I am, there are different levels of things that are already provided to me, and there's different levels of things that I need to bring and make sure that I have to, in order to get my job done. All right, so let's get to the gear. Here is 
my uh, laptop. That is probably the most important thing um, that I carry with me because this is where I do all my work from. Um, I also carry an iPad with me at all times. This is the app iPad Pro 12.9 inch edition with a little JTEC uh, cover. I like it because it's exceedingly thin and whenever I'm using it in a courtroom, I want it to lay really flat. And that's because usually when you're in a courtroom and you're using it, um, you've got to use it with a dongle, uh, with like the video adapter on the side. And so anything where it's like standing up really tall makes the video cable kind of put a lot of tension on it and it has to hang kind of funny from the side. So I don't like that. I like this one because it's really thin and does the job of keeping the iPad covered. Um, and then it also has a magnet in it so it wakes it up. Um, when you open the lid and it, it turns it off when you're closing it. So I used to carry two laptops with me at all times um, with two copies of the case file in trial director or sanction, depending on which I'm using, um, in the bag. Um, so that way in case one laptop died, broke, got spilled on, got dropped, I'd have another one that can immediately back me up. Um, these days I don't carry two laptops. It's just got too heavy for me and I, I rarely needed the backup. In fact, I almost never needed the backup, and so the backup, maybe I'm you know, inviting uh, Murphy's Law to come into play here, but I don't usually need the backup, and so uh, it became a lot of extra weight that I was carrying around for no reason. But what I do instead is I'll have all the exhibits you know, built in, in Trial Director, and then I'll also have a duplicate set of the exhibits in Dropbox or Box, uh, depending on the client. And then I'll use that to create uh, a case file in a uh, trial pad. And so that way, if the laptop fails for whatever reason, I always have whatever I needed um, on the iPad. And while it might not be as fast as having trial director, if I have a super voluminous case, like where I have like 100,000 pages um, or more, uh, it's a backup. And so it'll at least get me through to when I can get another computer to me and um, get that set up. So usually it can get, it'll get me through like, you know, the half day from like the lunch to the afternoon period, um, or from the morning to the lunch period when I can go back and get another laptop if, if that happens. Uh, but knock on wood, it hasn't happened. So I've been liking using the iPad, um, as the backup, uh, because it's just, it's, it's lighter and easier to, to, to deal with and easier to manage. Here, let's go through some of these cables uh, first. So what I always carry with me is an extra long, not an extra long, but like a 15 foot um, HDMI cable. Um, and that's mainly for me to use uh, in the hotel. So here, there's a TV at this hotel. Uh, Sunday Night Football happens to be on right now. And um, if I need to connect to the, the TV to do some work, uh, or to check out my demonstratives and see what the colors are going to look like. I can always connect in my room or if I'm at the war room um, with the team and there isn't a long, usually sometimes there's only like a six foot cable, um, if that, to connect to the TV in a conference room. And so the 15 foot cable gives me a little bit more flexibility as to where I can sit. But what this is, is an external DVD player um, and a cable here. And normally I have a couple of blank CDs in here, but I don't have any um, today. And the reason I carry this around is because my Dell XPS 15 does not have a, a DVD drive slot. Those are going away. If you have a MacBook Pro, uh, a, a relatively new one, I think after 2010, they got rid of them all. Uh, and if you have an Ultrabook, um, they are not gonna have a DVD drive either, so you're gonna need to have a DVD drive with you because that's how your videographers are getting you, gonna be getting you your materials. Um, hopefully, you're not getting your materials from your videographer on DVD and you're asking for MPEG files um, and eTran, hopefully synced eTran files. Uh, but if you have any questions about that, again, leave them in the comments, I'll be happy to answer them. But hopefully, you're getting things via like a Dropbox link or like a you send it. Um, type of link so that way you don't actually need physical media um, because it's 2016 you don't need that um, power strip you always want to bring one of these with you because you'll be working in either a, um, a war room or even in your hotel room it might be nice depending on you know where the plugs happen to be in your room it's just nice to have a whole bunch of extra plugs that are available to you 
And then here's the uh, power brick and the cord um, for my Dell XPS 15. Normally I keep this in like a little bit of a bag. I have like a little black Herschel bag that I carry with me, but I gave that one to uh, the other guy that works for me um, when I gave him the other laptop. Um, so I need to order a new one. And then the next thing I have up here is one of my favorite new things. And this is kind of like a, uh, a cable roll. This could be like a what's in my bag in and of itself. And I probably will do a what's in my bag, uh, what's in my cable roll. Uh, for this, but right now I keep, you know, just a lot of general stuff, miscellaneous stuff that, not stuff that I'm preparing for, but the kind of stuff that I don't know what kind of room I'm walking into. A lot of times the nature of our work, we're supporting either expert witnesses or we're supporting um, uh, opposing counsel's uh, computers and they may not have the foresight to communicate with us, to tell us what kind of uh, video connections they have, or they might not know how to communicate with us. They might have like, they might not realize that, oh, I bought a MacBook, and that means I have a USB type C connector, um, which would be one of these, uh, that needs to be converted to VGA, or if I have a USB C that needs to be converted to HDMI, or if I needed to also have a USB plug. So there's lots of other things that you might need. And that's what I keep in my uh, cable roll. I'm not sure what the technical term is for that. This I just got off of um, Amazon. Um, I like it. Uh, it kind of doesn't keep, kind of doesn't keep things as organized as I'd like, and it gets really bulky. And so I'm wondering if there's another way. I might play around with a couple of other different kinds of ways of organizing these kinds of like video adapters and accessories. Okay, what's next? Um, next. I have an eyeglass cleaner and a uh, cleaning cloth, and this could be also used on you know your devices like your iPad um, or your phones. And this I just have because uh, my eyeglasses get dirty by the end of every day. Uh, I happen to have really long eyelashes that they, they actually like touch the glass. And so by the end of the day, like that oil just gets all over my glasses. So I need to keep those clean every day. Sometimes I do it over the lunch break and it's just a nice way to kind of like just refresh your vision. And then over here, I have a pencil, the Apple pencil. A lot of times, um, what I'll use my laptop in conjunction with the iPad. So I'll have them both open at the same time and I'll put the um, script if I, have an, I have a script from the client in terms of which exhibits are coming next, and I can write notes in terms of, okay, zoom in on bottom, you know, focus on the top left. I can write that directly onto the outline, and then I still have like a whole trial director screen, um, and they're not sharing the screen with anything else. Um, but that depends if I have enough space at the table. A lot of times I don't. Then a pen, because a lot of times you do have to communicate um, with the other members of the team and you're gonna be running, jotting little notes down on post-its. So like an actual you know, pen uh, is, is a nice thing to always carry with you. Next up we have some batteries. These are uh, AA batteries for my mouse and AAA batteries for my clicker. I always carry extras around with me. I use the Amazon Basics ones. Those work out fine for me. And I always carry mints. I just always have to have mints. Um, I don't always put this on the table, but I'll always put a couple like in my pocket. And next what I have here, this is like a very small, uh, just a USB battery backup with a micro USB cable. My phone is micro USB, so this works for me. Um, and just in case uh, I have to use my phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot, um, this gives it a little bit extra juice. Although if I am using it in the courtroom that way, I can always connect it to the laptop itself. Um, but if I want to do it a little bit more discreetly, like put the whole thing in my pocket, so I can leave the phone in my pocket, you know, and not have a cable running into my pocket. I could just put this in my suit jacket, put it all like in my suit jacket pocket and put it that way. Then next here, I have my remote clicker. Let me see if I can open this one handed. Nope. And this is a remote presenter uh, for controlling PowerPoint remotely. Uh, a lot of times the attorneys will want to have this so that we can go advance a slide, go back a slide. There's a laser pointer on this button here, and then this button down here uh, will give you a blank screen. These all connect by USB, and I intentionally use these USB ones, although um, because of the MacBook I am reevaluating those. But I intentionally choose the USB connected ones because Bluetooth connected presenters all tend to fall asleep. 
Now, I haven't revisited the issue since like Bluetooth Low Energy came out, uh, and so I don't know if um, that issue of the presenters like falling asleep and losing their connection to the device is still an issue. I'll kind of revisit that, or if anyone has any experience, let me know. Um, but if you use the ones that have the USB connected devices, they all kind of plug into the USB uh, on your laptop. These tend to have a very, very long range. And, um, you know, even if you don't use it for like 20 or 30 minutes, you click it and your laptop will register the keystroke. So that's a very important. Next, I have my mouse. This is a Logitech. Um, any, I think it's called the Anywhere MX mouse. I really like this mouse. It feels great. All these buttons are customizable, so um, you can tweak them to being able to use them very quickly, either for uh, productivity use in the office or for use in trial director, because you can assign keystrokes to all these buttons. Uh, but the most important feature of it is this has the Anywhere MX technology in it, which is Logitech's technology that allows this to be used on glass. A lot of federal courthouses have a wood table like this one here in this hotel room, but they put glass on top of it. And so you either have to bring a mouse pad or have a mouse that can be used on glass, or you're gonna be putting a legal pad underneath your mouse pad, and that's not gonna be very convenient. Next, I have a external USB 3.0 uh, card reader that reads SD cards and micro SD. This is probably not that necessary. Um, for a general lit, lit tech or a high, hot seat person. But I use it a lot because we're doing the vlog, we're always taking um, video. The uh, camera uses SD and the GoPro uses micro SD, so it's nice to be able to um, be able to just pop those cards out and read them at a high speed um, on the laptop with this. And lastly, uh, but not least, we have a... Um, external SSD. This is the Samsung T3, I think 256 gigs hard drive. Uh, it has a USB connector on one end and it comes with a USB 3.0 connector cable on the other end. It didn't come with a case. I ordered this case separately on Amazon. And so this is nice to have in, in the cases where if there were like 30 videotaped dep depositions, um, Rather than putting those all onto my SSD on my laptop, I can put them on an external SSD and it reads it very quickly. Uh, I'm going to get all this stuff back into the bag and um, get ready for uh, the trial day that starts tomorrow. We're starting up at the court uh, 8.30 in the morning, so we got an early start. I'm going to try and get some sleep tonight. But um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions or feedback, please let me know in the comments uh, down below. I look forward hearing from you.